So what's up everybody? Trying to head out to Universal Orlando Resort after work to possibly see what the capacity level is, but we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. We are here at Universal Orlando Resort. It is Saturday, 1225. Today was the opening of the HHN houses or Halloween testing houses, however you want to say it. Run Frankenstein, Vengeance Tooth Fairy. 1225 in the afternoon. And they are at capacity right now. Um, you cannot get a virtual line queue for those houses. I kind of knew that would happen, you know, that's just how it is when you have something like this happen. You know, you, you, you cancel horror nights and then you bring it back with the, the tribute house and then the, the the these houses that they have which is fine so I'm just gonna go through the uh, parking gate here and I'll probably just end up leaving but they have every single last um, park and turnstile open right now and I've been in this line for about oh, a good 20 minutes and I'm about six cars up from there and here you can tell every turnstile is open for parking with the three off to the right for Volcano Bay. So if you're going to Volcano Bay, you can just head off to the right there. Although it goes way back for quite a while. But there is a notice sign up there. Um, it's kind of hard to tell right now, but it actually says Islands of Adventure and Volcano Bay are at capacity. It is a warm day today. We're looking about high, high 80s, low 90s. And with Islands of Adventure having the trick-or-treating there, you know, well, treats being handed out to kids, you know, 12 and under, I can understand why that's filled up. But Universal Studios and City Walk are open at this time. So that is still open even though in the virtual line queue the houses that are available are at capacity but i did set an alert to see if they open or not so we'll see what happens I, i'm not getting my hopes up but who knows but that's how everything is right now not really going to go in because it's kind of warm. I just got off of work, so I think I'll just head home and maybe I'll give this another try tomorrow morning. We'll see what happens. So I have left the Universal Orlando Resort area talking to the parking attendant what happened was um i told her i'll just go ahead and exit and she's like i just don't blame you it's it's pretty crazy today people were waiting outside of the parking at six o'clock in the morning she said they were in the dark waiting for the park to open up so very popular event um, Islands of Venture once again at capacity, but then again, their capacity right now, I believe is at like 50%, maybe a little less than 50%. So that's understandable. But the, the sheer amount of people that were going into the place, you know, if you're at capacity, you probably should be turning some people around, but obviously they don't want to do that because people come and go, you know, they can let in a few more. So they'll, they'll figure it out. Universal may have to go to a reservation system like Disney and SeaWorld have done. I mean, speaking of that, I have some tickets I need to uh, go to SeaWorld. And I, when I get home, I'm going to make those reservations. We'll probably go there next Sunday because I'm off on Sunday. So uh, we'll see. But anyways, thank you for watching the video. Real short one, just real quick. I might try to go out there tonight. Uh, I'll just take a look and see what the capacity is, where they're at. Because uh, as of right now, on the weekend, well, on Saturday, 
Universal is going to be open until 8 o'clock at night and um, Islands Adventure will be open until 7 o'clock so we'll see what happens I'll check a little later I'll probably go home take a little nap get some things done around the house and uh, just go from there anyways thanks for watching if you like what you see click subscribe I'll go ahead and uh, I'm gonna try to post a few more videos uh, throughout the week uh, just to get the channel going again but thank you for watching and have a great day. Bam.